Evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated undertaking, but in this video, we'll quickly explain eviction laws in Wisconsin and how to recover your property in five simple steps. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. It's illegal for a landlord to change locks or physically remove a tenant themselves. So, if the renter refuses to leave after violating their lease, you must seek an eviction from the court. The process for simply terminating a lease differs from that of an eviction. Lease terminations require proper notice from the landlord or tenant, and state requirements can be found on our website. Legal reasons for eviction in Wisconsin. A landlord only has grounds to evict a tenant for reasons allowable in the state. The first step in the eviction process is to give the lessee a notice for one of the following violations. Non-payment, non-compliance, and illegal activity. If your tenant refuses to pay rent, is in violation of the lease, or engages in illegal activity, you can serve a notice to quit. For first violations of a tenant occupying the property for a year or less, you may serve a five-day notice, which requires the tenant to fix the issue or vacate the property within five days. For second violations of any lease term within a 12-month span, you may serve a 14-day notice to quit, which requires the tenant to vacate within 14 days without an option to cure. For first violations of leases spanning a year or more, you may serve a 30-day notice to quit, which requires the tenant to fix the issue or vacate within 30 days. Rent grace period. In Wisconsin, there is no rent grace period. Rent is due on the due date. An eviction notice can be served if the rent is only one day late. Five steps to legally evicting a tenant in Wisconsin. Serve the notice to quit. Choose the form you need and download or fill it out on eForms.com. Serve the notice and retain proof of service such as a return receipt requested via USPS. If the breach is curable, you must wait the specified number of days allowed by the state before taking further action. File eviction papers with the court. If the tenant hasn't fixed the issue and remains on the property, you can proceed to the small claims court in the area which the property is located. You need to file the following forms. Complaint, summons, non-military service affidavit, and an affidavit of service of notice. Be sure to make five copies of each form for service and the hearing. Serve the court documents. The court will detail a hearing in the summons and the tenant now needs to be made aware of the case filed against them. Have the document served on the tenant by a process server at least five days before the court date. The tenant will then be able to share their side of the story by filing an answer. Attend the hearing. At the hearing, the judge will reach a ruling. If the tenant doesn't attend or if the judge rules in your favor, a writ of restitution will be issued, which orders the tenant to vacate. Removing the tenant. If the lessee still doesn't leave, the writ will also authorize the sheriff to remove the tenant. The sheriff will have 10 days from receiving the order to evict the tenant. Damages. Often the tenant's security deposit does not cover total losses. If damages are not awarded at the hearing, you may be able to recover past due rent and court fees through small claims court. Now you can get eviction proceedings started. Get eviction forms, court documents, and all other information you'll need at the link below for free.